This is VNN Canada and here are today's top stories. Liberals move to start phasing in promised tax cuts in January 2020. Sikh Uber driver racially abused, strangulated by a passenger in the US. Explore Palace on Wheels option for Taj Mahal's visitors, says India's Supreme Court. If Karan Johar made Avengers, how it would have looked? News in detail. The Liberal government says Canadians will begin to see the impact of a proposed tax cut on their first pay stubs of the new year, as long as the party can get enough political rivals to help them deliver on one of their major campaign promises. Finance Minister Bill Monier recently introduced a motion in the House of Commons to raise the basic personal income tax exemptions to $15,000. It was part of the platform the Liberal Party put forward in its bid to keep lower and keep in power in the October elections. The amendments to the Income Tax Act would start taking effect next year, but the Liberals need to get them through a vote. Measures involving government finances are ordinarily treated as confidential no votes, since the Liberals hold only a minority of seats, securing enough votes for the motion to pass would also allow them to remain in power. A Sikh Uber driver in the US was racially abused and strangulated by a passenger, a media report said. The incident took place in the coastal city of Bellingham, Washington, recently when the Sikh driver picked Griffin Levy Sayers. The American Bazaar reported recently citing the Bellingham Herald as saying in a report. The same day, the Bellingham police received a 911 call from the driver that he had been attacked by his passenger. The police then arrested and booked 22-year-old Sayers on suspicion of second-degree assault and a failure to appear warrant for third-degree assault. According to police records, he was released on $13,000 bail the next day. He also made racial comments about the driver's ethnicity. The driver somehow managed to get out of the cab and made a 911 call. When the police arrived, they were able to locate Sears nearby and arrested him. The Supreme Court of India has said that increase in air traffic possesses a direct threat to the environment and heritage monuments and luxury train palace on wheels could be considered as an alternative to ferry tourists to Agra. The top court also allowed construction of an additional terminal at the airport near the Taj Mahal with a rider that it would not allow an increase in air traffic. A bench headed by Chief Justice S.A. Bobde said, we are informed that the railways can provide more excellent trains like the Palace on Wheels and such trains could be deployed to transport passengers from the new airfield on the Taj Trapezium Zone Agra. The Apex Court also asked the center to consider involving the railways to solve the problems of anticipated higher tourist numbers and bear in mind the fact that it will serve nobody's interest to have the area polluted with a resultant damage to people and the heritage monuments. The reports shall be submitted within a period of three months, it said. Even though India has won the T20 series 2-1 against West Indies, Indian uh, captain Virat Kohli is not happy and he said that the host poor fielding cost them dearly in their second T20 against West Indies recently. <clears throat> West Indies won the second match that was played at the Greenfield International Stadium in Thiruvanthapuram by eight wickets to level the series 1-1. If we feel so poorly, no amount of runs will be enough. We were poor with the field in the last two games. We dropped too many catches in one over. Kohli was, said, say, was seen saying in the post-match presentation ceremony after the second match. However, India has won the series. And after winning the second match, the series has been taken home by 2-1. 
A video showing a group of people dressed in Avenger costumes and dancing to the song Disco Diwane from Student of the Year, which marked the debut of Aliya Bhatt, Varun Dhawan and Siddharth Marotra, has gone viral on social media. The 27-second video was shared on Twitter with the caption, If Karan Johar made Avengers and has garnered 114.4k views so far. The post even managed to get a response from Karan Johar, who himself replied to the video with a laughing to tears emoji. In the video, the group members are dressed in the costume of Spider-Man, Deadpool, Captain America, Thanos and Black Panther. However, one guy is seen wearing an Iron Man mask with Thor's costume and cape. As soon as the video got shared on social media, people burst into laughter. Needsons were in discussion if the Avengers had an Indian cast star so who do you think would play the important roles? And that's all from us today. We will see you tomorrow. Keep watching VNN Canada.